People in Blacksburg are asking questions about how town leaders and police are handling partying at a popular spot off campus. This comes after a Virginia Tech football player allegedly drove drunk, causing a crash near Center Street over the weekend. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett continues our coverage live in Blacksburg after speaking with students and local leaders. Lindsay, what they have to say? Well, in every college town, there are going to be parties. But after that terrible wreck here on Harrell Street over the weekend, I talked with college students about what they'd like to see from town leaders and police to increase safety off campus. It's a quiet day around Center Street in Blacksburg. But just days earlier, is everyone all right? This was the scene nearby on Harrell Street. A drunk driver, a student and football player at Virginia Tech crashed his car into three other vehicles, flipping his own early Saturday morning. Jamison Edmonds, a senior at Virginia Tech, lives on Center Street and saw the aftermath. So we looked through our window and just saw all the cops. I was like, I hope this person didn't die because that's like devastating to everyone, community, their family, everyone, and then that other people didn't get hurt. Edmund says increased police patrols late at night could help get drunk drivers off the roads, but says there's a bigger issue at play. I think there's like not a good connection between police and like student life here. There's not good communication and trust, I feel like, with the two parties. John Paul Williams, also a senior at Tech studying mechanical engineering, says getting behind the wheel is never the answer. Call a friend, call, call an Uber. It, 30 bucks is worth the, the lives of others. Tailgating off campus, particularly on Center Street, is an ongoing issue in Blacksburg. The topic was addressed by town council just last month. 10 News repeatedly reached out to town leaders and police for a comment on the most recent crash's impact on public safety, but did not hear back. A spokesperson for Virginia Tech declined to comment on this case because the university cannot comment on individual student or off-campus matters. With graduation coming up and more parties likely in the works, these students say something needs to change. Like There's a bunch of different sectors and they don't all work together and I think that's probably the biggest thing. Students and residents who did not want to talk on camera suggested DD programs where volunteer drivers or designated drivers paid by the town could safely get students home. They also added that more police DUI checkpoints could be helpful. Reporting live in Blacksburg, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.